No Not November is admittedly going to be very, very hard this year. And in retrospect, that was a very poor choice of phrasing. But Nikkei, Goddess of Victory, one of my most anticipated gacha games of 2022 is launching on November 4th. And I could not be more excited to be able to play it outside of the beta, but also at the fact that they have confirmed that they have reached over 3 million pre-registered players. That is absolutely crazy. Before we go any further, I just wanna take a moment here to thank all of the absolute chads and chadettes that support this channel via Patreon. You're all freaking legend seriously each and every single one of you i would offer to give each of you a kiss but i suffer from severe intimacy issues additionally if you want to stay up to date with all the latest mmo gotcha and gaming news take a second here to follow mrs six and i over on twitter we tweet daily now their official tweet goes on to read Commanders, it has been a long wait. The official launch date of Goddess of Victory Nikkei has been set. Are you ready to fight and take back control of the surface? The 4th of November launch date, you can pre-register by navigating on over to their official website. You can pre-register for iOS or Android. It looks like they met their goal of 3 million pre-registered players, which, I mean, let's be real here, is that even really a surprise to anyone? Now, there are two different things I do want to note here. In their pre-registration announcement or their launch date announcement, they did release the preload is going to be available on November 3rd, but they did show Anis's outfit. And for reference, Anis in the actual game, from the closed beta that I played, looked like the image on the left. Now, in the promotional material for the game, Anis looks like what we see on the right. And I know that there are people that are claiming, oh no, the game is censored, the characters are censored. But, and don't quote me on this, but if they use the same build that we played in the closed beta test, then it seems as though the censored character models are used simply for promotional material because let's be honest here this character model for ennis is much more likely to get a pg-13 rating than this character model on the left there's really no contesting that so it makes sense for them to censor the promotional material for the game now if they censor these characters once the game is launched globally and that's another story altogether. Now, they did release two different trailers for the game. One on YouTube that we're going to go ahead and take a look at in just a moment, but also one over on Twitter, too, with regards to the 3 million pre-registration commemoration. So we're going to briefly take a look at that. So it does look like we'll be getting her as a character. The English dub for this, though, for uh, for Nikkei is really good. I'm a little disappointed. Her her skirt, like, if you take a moment here, like, look look at her skirt moving. When she's firing here, you don't see her skirt doing, you know, possessing the same movement. So a little disappointed. Then here is their uh, their newest YouTube trailer. I will note though real quick, and I apologize for pausing here. Even in the uh, the, the the trailer footage for the game, they used the censored Anis model. Again, that was not the case in the beta, so I'm really hoping this is just for promotional means only. I like they're showing all the characters that have the... Like the covered butt rear end. 
And where's all the j- like, when I played it, the they were like flinging around like crazy. I'm actually shocked that the- this trailer was very PG-13, I'm not gonna lie. Now... This is- this is admittedly... And even- even in there, like... Like, come on. We get it, like, just make it- I don't know, just make a- a, a public... Announcement. Stating, we're using censored images for the promotional material, but in-game will have full uncensored character models. I feel like that's really all they gotta do, because they're going out of their way here to- to attempt to- to censor... Specific characters. For promotional means only. And it is actually really upsetting, infuriating the Nikkei community. Because they are of the opinion, the misconception, or at least I'm hoping it's a misconception, that these character models that we're seeing are going to be the final product that we get in game. And I do not believe that to be the case. But I may be proven wrong, and they, they may, in fact, be censored. And if they are, I think that will be the death of the game. Now again, November 4, global release. Preload is available on November 3rd. I do wanna note that I will be streaming this game when it launches over on Twitch. So if you wanna go ahead and follow us there, you're more than welcome to. It's insane that they have already reached 3 million pre-registered players for a a game of, of this type of, you know, culture and Admittedly, this is this is gonna take the gotcha scene by storm. This is more pre-registered players than any game other than Tower of Fantasy this year. Or I guess Noah's Heart, but let's be real here, their seven, eight million pre-registered players were absolute BS. Now, if you're bored waiting to play Nick A, absolutely no problem. I completely understand. I got two different videos on screen right now that you should check out in the meantime. One is featuring what I believe is gonna be the greatest RPG, the greatest gacha of 2023. The other is a list of comparable anime gacha games that are slated to release over the next year that are going to change the shape and the face of anime gacha games.